close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a blue halo tutorial, exactly what's on my eyes right now. And I had so much fun filming this for you guys. Um, I really, really like how it came out. I think it turned out really well. And I love the pop of blue on my lids and I think it really brings out even the green in my eyes. So if you have a light eye color, I think this tutorial really is gonna bring out that color. And even if you have brown eyes, it's really going to just enhance the color of your eye and kind of bring out the natural beauty in your eye color. So that's all I really have to say before we jump into this tutorial. If you do like this look and you want to see how I achieved it, then just keep watching. Can we just talk about how cute my shirt is? If you are a fan of Friends, you get it. First, we're going to pull our hair back so we don't get it in any makeup. Then I'm just going to prime my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm going to go in with the Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to use that cream shade right there to set that uh, primer that we just put down. Next I'm going to take Taupe and I am just going to put that in the crease. I know I kind of sucked filming this section. Um, I need to figure out a better way to show you guys a little bit better, but just putting that in the crease as your transition color. And a thing you will see in this video is I am constantly blending, so that's kind of what it takes to get this look right. Next I'm going in with Sable. That is a beautiful color by the way. I love this color out of this palette. And I'm just going to take that on the outer V of my eye just to start that halo effect and it will take some building up to get the pigment that you want. Um, I definitely wanted to go a little harsher and definitely more pigmented with the look. So and then I just took a smaller pointed um, brush, this pencil brush and just put it on the inner corner of my eyes as well. And we are leaving room in the center of our lids for um, the main color. Now it's okay if this doesn't look blended, we're gonna go back in and fix it. And I just took a uh, Sigma E40, you can take any clean blending brush and just go over and go over and go over the color until it looks blended out to you. And I'm just deepening the color. You can see compared from my left to my right eye, um, how much more color the left eye has. Then I'm just going to spray my brush with some MAC Fix Plus and I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever palette, the 15 Artist, um, eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take that bright blue which I believe is D236 but if not I'll definitely have that in the description bar below just to make sure. And I just use that with my fingers. I found it worked best with my fingers. I didn't really get that much payoff when even when I wet the brush with Fix Plus so I just decided to go in with my finger just to get more pigmentation out of the eyeshadow. And you just want to build it up to really your preference. And then taking a little bit more of that sable color and putting it kind of in your crease around the color just to make it look a little bit more like a U shape on your eye to connect those, uh, the section in the front half of your eye and the outer corner. And then going in again and just blending. I'm going to take the NYX Tea Tree Balance Skin Elixir. This is awesome if you have oily skin. It feels really good and it smells good as a primer. So just using that. Then I'm going to take the Maybelline Dream Pure BB uh, Beauty Balm. This one is the one that does have 2% salicylic acid in it. And just take any flat kabuki brush you have. 
and just start pressing that into the skin. I'm going to take the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer. I love the applicator on this. It makes it really easy to apply that it's because it's not in like a squeeze tube. Um, you can just kind of place it wherever you want. And I kind of sharpened the line of my um, outer eyeshadow with this. Instead of like using tape, I just kind of made the concealer into a line. And then I'm going to set that with the... Um, Wet n Wild Contouring Palette Contour. This is a stupid name, but yeah, and it's in the, I don't even know what it's called. Caramel Toffee. I'm going to set my under eye with that. I'm going to take the RCMA No Color Powder and just set my whole face with a Real Techniques powder brush. And I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Brow Definer, and that's in Soft Brown. I am going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Fawn in the contour kit and just start carving out that contour with a flat, like, uh, cheap chiseled brush. And just blending that up so the contour is not that harsh. Then I'm going to take Havana to bronze my face with. And this is just on the big Morphe brush that's so popular right now. It's called the Morphe M527. I'm just going to put that on my cheeks and on the temples of my forehead just to bronze up my face. And I'm going to take the Tarte uh, Bling It On Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. This is the one that it came out for the holidays this year. And I'm going to take that middle shade called Prism. This is such a pretty shade that goes with everything. And I'm going to take Ofra Cosmetics You Glow Girl. I love this. This is my only pink highlighter. And I think it adds such a fun look um to your actual full makeup tutorial I just think it adds something unique and I'm gonna go back in with that makeup forever palette in um s228 I believe is what the shade is called and I'm gonna put that underneath my lower lash line it is a dark blue so it works out works for smudging out the lower lash line and then I am going to use that black which is s102 from Makeup Forever and just deepening that outer section. And I'm going to go back in with taupe just to blend all of that out underneath my lower lash line and make it not look that harsh. I am just going to line my line, uh, not my line, <laughs> line my waterline with any black eyeliner. I'm using the Marc Jacobs highlighter just because that's the one that I use all the time. Now I'm going to take that cream shade um, and put it on my brow bone just to highlight that upper part a little bit. Just curl your lashes and put some mascara on. You know it's going to be that purple covergirl one. It's always that purple covergirl one. <laughs> and just put a coat on your bottom lashes as well. And just line your lips with any nude eyeliner that you can find. This is just what I had on hand. And I just filled in my lips completely with this eyeliner, or not eyeliner, this lip liner. And I'm just going to add the Laura Geller, uh, not Laura Geller, Laura Mercier lip glaze. Um, I think that's how you say it in bare naked. I love this gloss. This is probably the first gloss that I have tried and loved. It's not sticky and I love it. So yeah, that's it.